here we are for another celebration of the Holy Spirit. You continue to be involved, uh, not only uh, the celebration of the Holy Spirit, but wherever it needs to be done, you're there, right? We try. You Why? think this is important for you to do this? Absolutely. Um, salary keep, is good, right? Salary is really good. <laughs> keep it. I want my kids to understand and appreciate the Portuguese culture, and I want them to continue it. So being involved as a non-Portuguese always helps the situation. Uh, where are you from? Um, my, my family is European heritage, but uh, pretty much grew up in California. California. So uh, you were born where? I was born in Texas. Oh, Texas. Yes. Oh. Yes. My Welcome to a, California. Dad was okay. in the military, so <laughs> we moved around and ended up in California about uh, 40 years ago now. And you met her here in Chino? I did. A neighbor of a neighbor. Oh. Uh, what's your name? So Connie Brady. Connie, vamos falar um bocadinho em português. Uh, esta festa, até o momento, o acontecimento, uh, tudo a correr bem? Está tudo a correr bem. Por enquanto está tudo a correr bem. A gente, a gente gosta muito dessa festa. A vossa filha também fez parte dela, não é? Sim, senhor. Ela foi a este ano. Uh, tens orgulho em ver a vossa filha também a colaborar com estas celebrações uh, do Espírito Santo? Sim, senhor. É uma coisa que a gente fizemos quando a gente era mais novinhas. E agora estou a ver minhas filhas a fazer, é um orgulho. É nesse, é nesse que eu posso explicar o que, o que a gente sente. Um, uh, she said it's an honor, uh, to, I don't know if you understand Portuguese, but it's an honor uh, to be part of the celebration, not only being here uh, to help, but also having your kids being part of it. Uh, is that important to you too? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I want my kids to continue the, the traditions even though you know it's challenging for parents, for siblings to do it, but you, it's, it's part of the culture and you got to do whatever you need to do to keep it going and, and let your kids support it. I'm 100% behind everything they do here. É uma festa que dá muito trabalho, não é isso? Dá muito trabalho, mas quando a gente faz do nosso coração, não custa nada. Há muita gente que ajuda. Se não fosse, era impossível fazer essa festa. Oh, senhor, se não fossem as pessoas que botem aqui, às vezes botem aqui à porta e dizem onde é que queres que eu ajude, essa festa não era possível. É muita ajuda, é na cozinha, é fazer doces, é as pessoas que ajudem aqui no hall a fazer o setup, a mesmo com os touros, ou mesmo as docas pequenas, you know, elas ajudam bastante com as nossas rainhas e com os nossos choquezinhos para bem da gente fazer dinheiro, para a gente ter essa festa. Fazes qualquer coisa que for necessária, ajudas na cozinha se for preciso? Eu ajudo na cozinha, eu não gosto muito da cozinha, mas eu ajudo na cozinha se for preciso. Do you work in the kitchen sometimes? Oh, yeah. He's One year I was the <laughs> kitchen director. Oh, did you? Yes, I was. And uh, how is it? A lot of work back there, right? Too much work almost. Uh, getting ready for this fish is a lot of work. You like, talk about bullfights, that's a whole day event. Saturday you're doing all sorts of stuff, getting ready for today. And then luckily they do have somebody that comes in and cooks, but you're still running around and making sure everything goes the way it should. Actually, the bullfights this year supposedly were one of the highest ever participation-wise, right? It, it was very, very popular this year, and, and it had been lo no, lower numbers in the past, yeah. but it looks to be revived again this year. Yeah, very successful. Which so hopefully good. they're bringing it back. <laughs> Os teus pais ensinaram-te a falar português ou tu que aprendeste? Os meus pais e os meus avós, porque a minha avó tomava conta de mim e ela às vezes recebia cartas das ilhas das suas irmãs e ela não queria esperar para a minha mãe chegar à casa de trabalho. Só so, eu comecei a aprender desta maneira. Então os teus pais são nascidos nos Açores, não é? Sim, senhor. Qual freguesia? Uh, tem, o meu pai era de São, ba uh, São Bartomé e a minha mãe é da São Bente. Qual, os nomes dos teus pais? O meu pai era Manuel Dimas Amarante e a minha mãe, a Maria da Conceição, era homem e agora amarante, mas ela já se casou outra vez. O meu pai faleceu quando ele tinha 5 anos. So. Have you ever gone to the Azores? No, I have not. What are you waiting for? <laughs> After you do all this, you have to go. To win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, we've got four kids and a granddaughter and a daughter-in-law, so it's not going to be a cheap trip. Yeah. I know it's not special to the Azores. <laughs> uh, thank you for talking to us. Congratulations. Thank you. Continue to do what you do because I Absolutely. think it's it's so nice for me.
to be talking to somebody. It's not even from this culture. It, it does what you do. That's fantastic. Thank you. It. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate our culture, and we hope that everybody else does too. Exactly. We have something very special, and I hope that we can share that with others. Being the vice president uh, so far this year, how's everything going? I'll be quite honest, it's been a challenging year. Um, we came off of a lot of different challenges into this year, but we have a very, very strong group. We persevered, um, and at the end of the day, we do this for the Holy Spirit. So, Andre, um, we always talk about this, right? It's a lot of work, right? But Absolutely. But it's something that needs to be done, right? Yeah, I think I think it's very important for us, not only us as a committee, but as as a community, to keep our traditions alive, right? So myself, I have a young daughter. Carlos has two young kids, and um, we're trying to get everyone involved to continue our traditions. So you're the right hand, uh, the president, right? Is he a good person to you? Is he treated you right? He's fantastic. He leads by example. <laughs> he does. Wow, now I'll talk to you. <laughs> Mr. President, so far, how's everything going? So far, everything's going great. Um, the, team is, the team has come together. We've, you know, obviously there's always challenges and certain things that come across, when, you know, when you're running a festival, but it's been great. Everybody's been pulling through, working together, and I mean, you can just see, it's, everybody seems to be happy and excited that the festival's back and that we're doing everything we can to keep it moving forward, so. Uh, does your future for next year, do we have a committee plan for next year? A committee plan? Well, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't make any promises or anything, but I mean, you never know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, now we are at the FASTA that probably gives you the most work, right? Uh, so far, how's everything going? Yeah, it's it's been a hot day. Uh, <laughs> nevertheless, we're... No doubt. Nevertheless, I think the, the Holy Spirit powers us through the day, and we continue going. As long as the air condition is working, right? We're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've had the three bands, Artigia, Chino, and San Diego, which makes the celebration much special when you have 
everybody from down south being part of it, right? Yeah, I mean, Carlos and I both have served this hall in different levels. We've done committee, we've done band, we've done uh, carnaval, so uh, it's just really being involved in and staying true to our tr tradition. A lot of people do some work, right? Without this group of people, they either work in the kitchen or prepare the fashion, decorations, whatever it takes. And without them, it's impossible to put this together, right? Oh, 100%. It's not just the nine people on our board, it's our whole community. And without, without our community, there's nothing we could do. You, you, you can't build anything without a village, and you need a village to help you know, to build those things like like that. What's that saying? The camp, uh, Rome wasn't built in a day and all that? Well, of course, you know. Um, we couldn't do any of this. And I really want to emphasize that, that we really couldn't do any of this without the support from our community, without the snouters down there in the kitchen, without the men busting their butts, you know, working in the, you know, with the sopas and Michael Avila. And, I mean, it's just, I don't want to name it. I don't want to start naming names because I don't want to forget anybody, but Obviously, without the community, we couldn't do any of this. That's for sure. Now, since nobody's going to be listening to this, but uh, <laughs> let's talk about it. How about the wives? Do they help a lot? Well, we have several wives that are actually serving on the committee. So I think, look, uh, at the end of the day, everyone pulls in their own weight, right? We have wives involved. We have children. We have grandparents. We have, again, it takes, like he said, it takes a lot of people, right? Without the wives, it's impossible, right? Oh, of course it's impossible. And sometimes in certain households, like I'll even say in my household, it, it, it's, it's challenging, you know, because <laughs> there's times where we have to schedule things out. And, you know, um, with, with us having us and our two kids, it's, it's, it could be challenging. But, you know, we definitely couldn't do it without our wives. We couldn't do it without our fellow board members. And like I said before, we couldn't do it without the community. That's for sure. We're almost at the end of the year, but we still have a few months. Anything plans differently for this year at this hall for the community or for the younger generation? Well, we got we got a couple of events coming up. Um, I don't know if we have confirmed dates or anything, but we do got a couple of things coming up, like the Portuguese kids um, are going to be sometime in November. Uh, we have a car show coming up as well, too. Um, is there any? Our band auction. Our band auction, band festival. Um, so we got a couple of things still still coming up, and we do try. We are trying to do a little more things to get, like we said, some of the youth involved. So really, our goal this year with the bullfights was, of course, continue the tradition for for our, our Portuguese members and those in the outside community, but also to involve other types of communities. And I think we really hit the nail this year. Um, so I, I, we have to all be proud. Yeah. And. Uh, Serving this hall, you've learned a lot more Portuguese, right? Claro que sim. Ah, então sim. O português está aqui. O português está aqui. Tá bom, tá bom. Mas não gostas de falar, né? Não, eu gosto. Hoje foi um dia muito complicado. O calor está me afetar um pouco, mas eu ainda eu ainda falo. Está a faltar as palavras. Está um pouco. E aqui fala português? Um pouquinho também. Um pouquinho. Assim é que é bom. Obrigado, hein?
glad you smiled. Are you paid? Hey, Bobby. 